Holy salute, brothers and sisters. Um, you know, we live in a world today where people are so easily offended or, how you would say, put down or let down or have disagreements or disappointments. And that's okay to have that. But according to scripture, as I was praying, the Lord had reminded me that if I'm going to do something for somebody or do do a, do a donation or a tithe or an offering or maybe buy a Christmas gift, it says to, let, let's go to the word first. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, your revelation, for your truth. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for the, the demonstration of your power and your ways for your ways are not our ways and your thoughts are not our thoughts but you are the way and the only way the truth the life and that nobody can come to father god except by the holy ghost drawing in the lord jesus hallelujah thank you lord i praise you for the reading of your word in jesus name amen um i don't have gum in my mouth and I don't have uh, chew tobacco in my mouth um, God knows all about it but um, tomorrow uh, I'll be in deep prayer about um, what to do here come Sunday I'm, I'm praying out here but in Matthew 5 and um Let's go to let's go to Matthew five twenty one. It talks about teachings of anger. It says, "If you have heard, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, but whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment." Whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thy fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. If you call your brother a fool, danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, Leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way first to be reconciled. That means come back together to thy brother in unity, and then come and offer the gift. So we're not purchasing things and saying, this is how I'm saying I'm sorry. You're going to say it with a word that I am sorry, or, or even go to the brother who has offended you and say, you offended me. And that's how things are hashed out. We don't go around and throw money at people and say, here you go. I offended you. Here you go. Here's, your, here's you some money. That doesn't really solve anything. That's really like putting salt on the wound until next time when you offend, you throw some more money that way. And the Lord Jesus, these letters are written in red for a reason. These are teachings on murder and anger. So the Lord likens that subject of having all and constantly railing and murmuring and complaining and having disagreements, he likens that until murder. Anger is murder. How do you kill? By anger. See, the, the two are one. They're married. So we can't be married to that as Christians, and we have to forgive one another. Uh, another teaching the Lord was dealing with me on about how teaching has its word, where, uh, place. Teaching has its place in the, in the word of God and ministry and uh, in the church and in the body. Uh, music has its place in the church or the body. But do you remember what he said? He said, go and preach to all nations. He didn't say go teach. He didn't say, he didn't say go sing. So it is very vital, it is very important that 
in Matthew 28. Let's go about 23 more chapters now. Um, you know, we sing, we dance, we rejoice. It says in verse 18, Matthew 28 and 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, Now why is he going to come? He's going to tell you something. And he's going to say to you, he's going to preach to you, all power, how do we preach by power, is given. Given by who? From who? Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, unto me in heaven and in earth. So both places, he's in control. It says, go ye, therefore, now watch this, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things, not sing now, whatsoever I have commanded you. Now, everything that's in this scripture is a command. Everything from Genesis to Revelation, it's not just Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it's not just the cross. Everything given here is a command. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Praise God. So if we're going to make a joyful noise or you know, hallelujah, 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 Lord, we praise you. You see, that has its place. That has its place. But also, I come to tell you today that in the name of the Lord, you can be saved. You know, you don't just go sing. I come to tell you today you can be saved. You know, so everything has its place and purpose in the church and body. And uh, to be moved by the spirit, you have to forgive and let go and let God. Um, we can't pay our way on earth and we can't pay our way to heaven. We have to be in the mercies and grace and confinement of the Spirit of God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. And as I pray for people out here, I don't just pray for Mount Moriah to be anointed and uh the musician to sing better or the teacher to teach better or the deacon or whoever at the children's ministry. I pray for everybody here in Mount Moriah to be anointed more and more and uh, be increased in mercy and grace. But I also pray for every Christian in the world to be increased in favor of grace and mercy, that it be imparted higher heights and deeper depths to not remain stable and stationary, but to move by the Spirit of God, not to give uh, gifts that can be tangible, but gifts that cannot be purchased by monies. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for every soul on planet Earth today, every Christian, anoint them more, and train up the children, strengthen the elders, use the youth. Lord, give wisdom beyond our understanding and comprehension. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead for your glory. Do that only that you can do. No matter if it's by our hands, our voice, our strength, our wisdom, our age, our money. God, use it all for your benefit and glory. And we'll be so careful to forgive our brothers and sisters. As you have forgiven us and shown us mercy. We have mercy towards everybody. I ask this in the wonderful, mighty, majestic name of Christ Jesus. 
We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Holy salute. Keep looking up. The time is at hand.